This is the most important video you will watch today if you're trying to climb the standard ladder, bronze through gold, above 50% win rate, below 5,000 dust. Let's get right into it. The, the set Whizbangs Workshop is coming out in four weeks, and it looks like maybe the core set refresh will happen in around two weeks, so there will be some, some changes very soon. But until then, it is looking a little bit like Groundhog's Day. We have some of the same decks that we talked about a couple of weeks ago, last week, what have you. Um, we're going to talk about them a little bit more. Uh, they just did the balance patch a couple of days ago. The win rates have adjusted a little bit. So um, for weeks now, Warlock has been top with Sludge Warlock. And after this patch, uh, it went down to number five. Paladin being now number one, Death Knight number two, Warrior number three. They did do some buffs for Mage, a couple of Priest cards, and a couple of Demon Hunter cards. There has not been any substantial decks that I've seen, at least through hsreplay.net's uh, statistics, whether or not I could find anything that was, you know, above 50% um, win rates and then below 5,000 dust. It's just not there yet, but it only has been a few days. To go over this, seven days ago, Sledge Warlock was 11% total um, in, in terms of, of popularity. And look at this. Three days ago, it is now uh, 6%, 6.74%. Uh, but who's counting? Um, it's not as high as it used to be. Control Warrior is way up on the top right now with Plague right behind. I am going to talk about Plague because I think there's a really cool adjusted deck for that. But let's get into the decks that you can be playing right now that'll help you clear climb the standard ladder first one is undead priest 2880 dust with a 66.7 percent win rate i'm mentioning this again only because when the core set uh refresh happens in a couple of weeks this will be gone this will not be as cheap as it is now because dark bishop benedictus is going out of the core set so we know Dark Bishop Benedictus, it turns all of your deck, um, instead of you using the heal properties of your hero power, it's now a damaging properties. You have the ability to attack your opponent with your hero power as opposed to healing your minions. Um, this one also has ETC in it, which has Shard of the Naru. Uh, it silences all enemy minions, which is super helpful right now because of how busted some of these cards are. Silver Moon Arcanist, which increases your spell damage, and then the sun well which gives you a whole bunch of random spells that you can be using to play your opponent play this deck if you haven't before i would not craft any cards right now at least for the next week or two um maybe yeah maybe until the 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 new set is released because um we don't know how the uh, meta is going to shape up with the new core refresh or what have you but if you can play this deck try it a few times it's easy to pilot it's fun to play and it's like i said it will not be as cheap as it is now Next up, Agro Paladin. And this one looks like a pure hybrid um, from looking at it. And this is just all the busted things that Paladin's been able to do week over week over week. We've talked about this deck a bunch of times. This one has Countess. Remember, Countess is a busted card in some people's eyes. I love this card. Um, Garden's Grace as well. This card, is, I think a lot of people will breathe a sigh of relief when this card finally is gone. Uh, Garden's Grace is a busted card. And um, listen, we still got Shroomskivate too. So with, I've said this multiple times, I apologize. Agro Paladin, any type of Paladin, kill everything that's on that board don't let any minions lay there if at all possible because it's going to end up biting you in the butt later on uh next up elemental mage while mage did not get anything huge change right now with the buffs that were released um this is still a good deck this is a 65 percent win rate for 1620 dust you cannot beat the economy on that right now and it's just an elemental package with a couple of spells involved uh, molten rune deal three damage get a random spell forge this cast twice this is an amazing spell to be putting in any mage deck and then it has tainted remnant if you played an elemental last turn deal sell seven damage randomly spit between all minions this is a great deck it's easy to pilot and you know it's it's a good win rate next up plague death knight said we we're going to talk about plague death knight death knight has been one of my favorite classes for the past couple of expansions plague death knight is just absolutely fun for me 
and this one is uh, 6,000 dust, it says here, but with Lord Marogar um, being in this deck and, 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 and being free, it's only 4,400 dust, and it's got a 64.4% win rate. Um, what's different from this one from the last one that I've talked about in the past, it's got Ravenous Kraken in it, which destroy a friendly minion, and then the Death Rattle is summon a copy of it. You want to do this, not for Chill Fallen Baron or whatnot, you want to do this for the uh, plagues that are in your deck. So, Distressed Cavaldier, shuffle two random plagues into your opponent's deck. You want as many plagues as possible. Of course, it doesn't mean that the plagues will actually be drawn, but you want them in the deck no matter what. Uh, Primus is here, Lord Marogard, Yelling Yodoral, also has the ability to throw more plagues into your opponent's deck. And then Chain Guardian, which if you do everything right, um, these things will be zero mana. Um, this is a great deck. It's fun for um, it's fun for me. I love playing this, so I, I, I'd like you guys to try it as well. If you haven't, it's fun. Uh, last up, not really last up, but yes, we're going to talk about this. Dragon Druid is at 4,600 dust with a 75.8% win rate. It's Dragon Druid. It's easy to pilot. It's easy to play. Um, it is very strong in terms of uh, uh, Druid. You know, right now the Treant Druid is a little bit stronger, but I don't think that deck is as easy to pilot as Dragon Druid. So if you're looking for something that's not super, super complicated and, you know, pretty high on the win rate column with a 75.8% go ahead and play this now i brought in one more deck because i saw something in it i don't know if it's perfect yet i don't know if it's ready um but it's at 5640 dust but if you remove illidari because that's uh free and then if colifero if that was one of the cards that were given to all of us so it's about 40 40 dust and it's got a 55.3 percent win rate on hsreplay.net and it looks interesting. It's a relic package demon hunter, but it's got some cool opportunities here. It's got Illidari Inquisitor here. It's got Colifero, obviously. Um, I'm not sure how the interactions work with Soul Stealer, uh, Soul Eater Sky, excuse me. So I would, you know, I, I would throw some caution here. Like I said, do not craft any of these cards to play this deck or any of the decks I mentioned before because we're going to have so many changes recently, but it looks pretty interesting. I'm going to leave all of the deck codes in the description like I do always and make sure you follow me and you subscribe and you like the videos. I'm going to put a link also to this. This is the giveaway video that I'm doing. Whizbangs Workshop. I'm giving away a regular bundle and then if I can get 500 subs, for every 500 subs I'll do a mega bundle as well and time's running out because I'm going to be announcing the time that I'm I'm you know showing this winner out I'll throw it on one of the recent videos that I do um, the winner will be announced probably a week before the expansion launches March 19th so you have a few days and as always thank you very much for supporting my channel and I will see you in the next video